right next to the Cineplex Odeon on Yates Street in Victoria. There's this alley called Millie's Lane or Odeon Alley. A mini mouth-watering vacation just arrived here from Fernwood, a place where they stir up authentic Caribbean soul food. Stir It Up Restaurant has been an authentically spicy attraction in Victoria since 2007, with its previously popular location in Fernwood Square. But now it's been relocated downtown to the bustling 700 block on Yates Street. Restaurant owner Natalie Justin says the plan is to boost business with more foot traffic and business clientele. But the one ingredient that remains in all of her menu items, Fernwood Love. Now it's just live, now you can just do quantity, boom, 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 boom. Oof. When you come in to stir it up, it's just like being in the Caribbean. Like you just arrived on a tropical getaway during your lunch break. I'd love to be in Jamaica right now, flaked out under a palm tree, or jamming out to sea on a jet ski. But if you can't afford a plane ticket or a seven nights luxury resort, the next best thing is to eat the food. Uh, Natalie, what are we gonna make today? We are going to make roti. I have no idea what roti is. Roti is an import actually from India. Yeah. Which was carried over to the Caribbean. And uh, there's a huge Indo-Caribbean influence in Trinidad, Jamaica, Guyana, and various islands. So this is basically where it's from. There's dalpuri, which traditionally has uh, chickpeas inside of it. And then there's like potato roti with the potato filling inside of the dough. This is just yeah. a plain paratha roti. Natalie always uses coconut oil to cook the dough. So how is the authentic Caribbean soul food received in Victoria? <laughs> I've gotten a great response so far. So far, so good, and people are really curious about what the Caribbean flavors are all about, so I'm happy to provide them with the opportunity to learn. It's very spicy, eh? No, it's not that spicy. It's spicy in terms of spice, but not spicy in terms of hot, so it won't burn your tongue. It's spicy in terms of flavor. How do you know at what time it's ready to flip? Well, when you see the bubbles, just like a pancake, yeah. <laughs> do a little test, you lift it up from the edge, and the steam is coming through, so it's cooking on the inside as well as getting crisp on the outside. My mom was one of my major influences in the kitchen because uh, I guess I wasn't the best behaved child, so I had to spend a lot of time in the kitchen as a way to keep me That's what this was on the for, straight eh? and narrow. Yeah. Yes, that and this. While Natalie perfects the roti dough, have a look at the artwork that decorates the walls. Originally from Trinidad, contemporary artist Zoo is displaying his canvas work to tie in with Black History Month. Well, the recent uh, movement, Black Lives Matter, um, has been really inspiring because it's been a space for people to connect with each other and also to grieve um, what's been going on. Uh, like unjust, social injustices that people have been facing. So for me, it's a, it's a way, an outlet to express um, my experiences and my abilities. Zoo, who's been painting for just over a year, is choosing key women of color as his subject material. And this is Ella Baker. Uh, and she was, you know, right up there with Martin Luther King helping organizing um, the March on Washington. But none of these women were allowed to speak. So they were very vocally uh, opposed to this gendered hierarchy in the civil rights um, movement. And this leadership. would have been like 1960s USA? 1964, 1965. As a token of his appreciation for the work Natalie does at Stir It Up, he also created a painting of her. You know, captured Natalie creating, you know, those, those powerful uh, blend of spices. And your choices today are? And Natalie's now ready to fill the roti that we've been making. She fills it with curried potatoes, chickpeas, and jerk chicken. A little bit of tamarind chutney, which we make in-house, as well as the hot sauce. That jerk sauce, mmm. Mm. So you take it from the bottom, yeah. you fold it in the middle, yeah. you take the two sides, fold it in the middle, and then you flip it over. You can taste the love, you can taste the authenticity, and that's what I love about it. What's your favorite dish? Oh, it's got to be uh, the roti, the chicken roti. All day, every day, I've had hundreds of them. That's so, what I'm making today, by Amazing, the way. amazing. See, best choice, right? That's the number one stunner right there. It's good. I'm actually making it for you. Oh, really? That's amazing, yes! In Victoria, with a Caribbean flavor, I'm James Green. Mm.